Hello, thank you for joining me. What I'd like to do in this video is show you some of the additional modifications you can make to a curtain wall. Specifically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to add in some grid lines, and, uh, which are going to allow the millions to follow those grid lines, and make some uh, additional modifications to those grid lines by trimming those grid lines out, taking the mullions that go with them, and uh, make uh, some different glass panels with some broken grid lines and mullions and stuff like that, and so on and so forth. But it'd probably be best if I just didn't talk about it and maybe just demonstrate it a little bit. So let's go ahead and uh, put in some uh, let's put in some vertical grid lines first, and I'll show you how to do this. I'm going to take this section symbol, this big lollipop here, and move that thing out of the way, and uh, show you how to do that. So you want to go to your uh, home tab on your ribbon, go to grid line, and we're going to put a grid line here. And what it's going to do is it's going to help fill in the gaps here. That window panels, the boom the panels over here are kind of a little bit wide, a little bit big, kind of look kind of funny. So let's go ahead and do that, but. What we have here, if we double click or if we take our tab key and click on that and get the grid line in the background here, we have a really weird dimension with a very high precision to it down to 256 of an inch. You know, like half of a width of a you know human hair here. It's a little bit too big for us, but we're gonna in order to be correct with the, the grid line that we're gonna put in, we're gonna go ahead and copy that. So if you click on top of that dimension, go to control C. And uh, actually, we can do the same thing over here. Click on this dimension, do Control V, and that should uh, push that grid line over. Oh, Control V. Not going to let us do it there, but if we do it over here, we can do that here. See, one of those dimensions is going to be an absolute dimension, the other one is going to be derived from the first dimension. There's a reason why that wouldn't change, but it will change here, and away it goes. So that puts it over to the side. So now it looks a little funny. We have a little bit too much in the way of millions over here, and I'm going to show you a way to fix that. So go back to the grid line. I'm going to put this one in. Sometimes you have to put that a little bit off center. For some reason, that's not going in. So let's get a little bit closer to that and see if we can get that to work. There it goes. It's a little weird. I wonder why I did that. But, anyways, we're going to click on that uh, grid line if we can select it. If you can't select it, uh, press in the tab key. Do Control V for that dimension that we had before, and that pushes it off to the side. And let's take this grid line up here, this horizontal grid line, and let's move that. Instead of one foot six inches, let's make that one foot two inches, or maybe one foot. What I'm desiring to do is take out this little triangle of glass up here. That's going to make the fabricator a little bit unhappy, and probably the person who's going to look at this unhappy too, because it looks funny. One space two. Let's see if that gets rid of that, and it does. That looks like it's a pretty good shape there. All right, one last modification I want to make for you here. Let's take this uh, mullion and delete that mullion. And the way we do that is we're going to we're going to trim it out. So we're going to go to our uh, grid line here. It's already un unplugged or it's un unpinned. So let's go to tab and just to make sure we're clicking on that grid line. If we click on that and go to add remove segments, we're going to go back to that grid line and click on that and it removes that segment. And over here, and there it goes. That segment is out of there, so it kind of opens up that wall. So just to demonstrate it one more time, it was a little uh, awkward. We're going to click on that grid line, go up here to your uh, Modify Curtain Wall tab, and it's Add Remove Segments. And if you click in that video or rest your cursor over that long enough, the video shows up and shows you what you can do. And I'm going to demonstrate that too. We're going to click on that grid line here, that portion of the grid line, kind of like a trim tool. It's going to trim it out between that reference line and that reference line, and it trims it out. Oh, I clicked in there again. Make sure that you click on the outside over here rather than inside that panel. I'm going to do the same thing on top. Click on that grid line, add or remove segments, click on that grid line again inside that area, take my cursor and click on the outside, and it trims that out. So that, that looks okay. Let's go inside and take a look at what it looks like on the inside. By demonstration, this kind of shows you a lot of the features that are associated with uh, curtain walls and grid lines and the millions that follow it and what you can do to trim these things out and make your uh, project more attractive. Okay, thank you for joining me. Join me for other videos.